Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about permissions. I'm going to talk about smart online order permissions and also employee permissions because they both pretty much do the similar things, but one is more specific to online orders and one is more specific to overall tasks. So let's start with smart online order permissions. This is where you get all your online orders from. When you open the smart online order app, you'll see three dots at the very top right. <clears throat> Once you press that, you will notice it says permissions. You click on it and you'll see various permissions. It'll say, it'll say allow employees to change the settings. <clears throat> it'll say allow managers to change the settings. It'll say allow employees to pause online orders. You may not want your employees to pause online orders. Therefore, you may want to uncheck that box because pausing online orders typically happens when you get very busy, there's a, the electricity is out, you have uh, something in the kitchen that needs to be repaired, you may want to pause the online orders, but sometimes you may not want the employees to do that because they may pause it for the wrong reasons, or they may not know the policy, the company policy when to pause it. So in that case, I would recommend for you to start with not allowing your employees to pause online orders until they're trained when to pause it. And then you can also do permissions for who can adjust the points for the branded app for your customer. So that's also a feature here as well. So that's permission for smart online order. Now let's talk about permissions for employees. So the employee app by Clover can be found here on the dashboard. <clears throat> so this is very interesting because this one goes very deep, has different levels to it. So I would recommend you take a look at it because it may change by the time you watch the video. But as of right now, you can have your permissions set to different uh, levels. So you can say employees cannot do refunds, employees cannot do uh, cash log, employees cannot do certain things. So there's many different settings in here. I would urge you to go through it and give your employees and your managers certain permissions. You don't wanna to give too much permissions and you don't wanna to give too little permissions because if you give too little permissions, then you're gonna get constant calls from the store asking, uh, give me the override code to do this, override code to do that, override code to do this. So you want to put a balance where everybody has their certain rules and responsibilities. And at the same time, you're able to focus on running the business without having any issues. So check out both the employees app by Clover and also check out the smart online order app for your online orders because they both have permissions. They do various things to help your business uh, thrive. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.